exhibition at East Gallery in Norwich City Centre. I'm so glad that we can show you a bit of what we've done in the exhibition and take you round. But as you know, we've been working at Northside um, for the past year. We've, you've probably seen them. There's um, three artworks on Catton Ward and then an artwork on Blakeney and two artworks in the communal areas. And we wanted to have this exhibition so that people of Norwich and further beyond can see the kind of wonderful work that you've done in the workshops and that's informed these um, massive artworks. Um, so come with me and I will show you um, some bits of the exhibition. So first of all, we have this kind of informative timeline um, which shows each artist and you'll be very familiar with the names. So we've got Karen Hall, Carl Rowe, Dexter Dawood, Jade Montserrat, Naomi Harwin and Richard Wentworth and each of them did a workshop at Northside House. Some of you will have attended the workshops and if you haven't, um, here's a chance to see a bit about the process and what happened during the project. Um, so as the timeline kind of shows, we began the project, well it was kind of delayed because of coronavirus, so we began the project early 2020 and it came to a close in this summer, so summer 2021. Um, and throughout that period we've collaborated with you, we've got to know you and the artists have um, done these workshops with you which have informed the artworks that have gone into the, into the wards. Um, so, so this is kind of a bit about the timeline, it shows the workshops, the artists kind of creating their work, the, the finished work, the finished works, um, and also the artwork that was, um, that inspired uh, someone on Cat and Ward to create their own. So we've got um, documentation of that as well. Um, and if you're on Cat and Ward, you've obviously seen that um, amazing artwork in the corridor and uh, just underneath the nurse's station. Um, so, if you come with me, I'll show you the first artwork. So, this is Jade Montserrat, um, and you'll all probably be familiar with this because this is in the big corridor that is right next to the, the food dining room area. Um, and this is one of the triptych pieces from that artwork. So, Jade led a charcoal drawing workshop. Um, at Northside House, which is actually just on that TV right there, if you can see it. Oh, no, it's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so yeah, um, Jay did this charcoal workshop where we were listening to a kind of experimental um, poem that she was reading out online, and then people responded in charcoal. So we've got one of the service user artworks here that's actually from that workshop, so some um, a participant um, created this during the workshop, which I think then went on to inform the title of Jay's work, which is The Body as Light as a Cloud, which is just there. And some other works that were informed um, that took inspiration for this workshop is this one here, so right in the centre of the gallery. So it's really important for the exhibition that we show the artwork that was made in the workshops. It's not just about the artist's work that goes up in the units, it's about the process and everyone was part of that process. So we want to really highlight what happened um, for Jade to come up with this artwork. Um, the second one I'll show you is um, one that people on Catagord will be familiar with. Um, it's Carl Rose B.E. And and this artwork I know inspired a lot of conversations um, around what it meant um, and also what it means to be anything. 
and I just um, mentioned over there the artwork that was made underneath the nurse, nurse station um, in the same colour and it was in direct relationship to this work so um, that particular person was like what, what, what does this mean to be what and, and they came up with five different things um, so be outside, be ambitious, be um, open and all of these different kind of things came up and ambition is the um, is the word that they settled on in response to what it means to be and I think it's very sort of it's a lot about identity and what you think of yourself and I think it questions you to um, think about you know what it means to to be anything <laughs> um, and I think that's what Carl wants us to do. So he led a collage workshop, um, and these kind of bits are very typical of his work, where he kind of stitches things together and see and comes up with these kind of spontaneous surprises. Um, so I think it's also kind of re referring to the fact that um, sometimes it's kind of unknown, and it comes out of these kind of surprising moments um, when you think about. Life in this very philosophical way. <laughs> so, moving on, um, you'll have seen outside that we have um, Karen who's a replication of her work um, on, the, on the window um, and it's translucent. I think it works really well, and people, when they're walking outside, are like, What is this? Um, so, it's really nice to have a bit of the of the ward in the city centre um, and she's done some really nice sketches. These were sketches, her kind of preparatory sketches for the, um, for the unit. Um, so thinking about colour schemes and having this very striking blue arch and people again on Catton Ward will have, will have seen this. Um, and people have been interpreting this in their own way as well. Some people are saying, oh, it's kind of about changing seasons or it's about thinking about how the world is changing, um, leaves are falling off, what season is it? Um, and it kind of brings quite a tropical sort of theme and also frames the window that, that looks out onto the wooded area just behind Captain Ward. Um, and Karen Hall has um, called her piece Between Islands. So I think that refers to this blue arch separating these two different landscapes. Um, Again, you guys might have seen this in, in real life, in person, but there's just um, a video of Cara painting on Catton Ward just to kind of show people that come to the exhibition um, the process again and, and Cara um, painting on the ward. A lot of the time in hospital rooms, we paint directly onto the wall and we do a lot of kind of wall murals. So um, this is kind of our staple, um, our staple, Kind of tool. <laughs> so that's Clara, and oh well, hang on. I will just mention going back one that Carl's artwork that was the BE. Sorry, this is jumping around a bit, but that was also inspired by this artwork um, that we have on one of the workbenches from Northside House, um, and this was. Um, by a Northhead House resident um, saying be unique. So that's where Carl kind of came up with the idea of to be, to be yourself. Um, and it's all about identity. So we wanted to just kind of show you this um, as well. And it's really, really nice of everyone at Northhead House to let us have this work table um, where we did all the workshops on. So we were all gathered around here. If you went to the workshops, you'll remember us all kind of huddled around this table doing our, um, our different workshops, our collage um, and painting and charcoal drawing and things like that. So it's really nice to have a bit of, um, again, something from the workshops in the space. Um, maybe it's good to, well, let's talk about guests. So again, this is a very communal area, so this is in the area between Catton and Blakely, you've probably seen this or walked past it quite a lot. Um, and this piece was inspired by 
um, Dexter's love of um, kind of old Hispanic stone walls. Um, so he he led a workshop using this template um, that was kind of a, a, a sort of dry stone wall template where blocks are kind of put together but without cement. So they kind of it's the way that you layer them up and the, the way that you kind of create the structure that means that they stay up rather than using any material in between. Um, so people were invited to just fill in the, the stones in whatever they, way they wanted. So some people um, filled it all in um, and went kind of over the stones and the stones just kind of um, created this backdrop for the artwork. And then some people used the stones to, to kind of create their own scene or landscape or structure. So we again have um, some pieces that were made in the workshop um, here. Um, and I really particularly like this one because there's a kind of way that the stones are used almost like a stamp um, and to create these little, not taking up the whole space, but just kind of these little subtle references. Um, so that's a, a, a final recreation of um, Dexter's work. The next one I want to show you is Richard Wentworth's. So Richard um, visited Northside a couple of times and he was really inspired by the Mount. And I know a lot of you love going to the Mount, it's a really special place. Um, I, every time I go to Northside I find myself on the Mount just um, walking around, talking to people and that's what we did with Richard. And we were there on a really sunny day in early June, I think. Um, and he had noticed that the way the light comes through the netting on the Koi Kart Pond creates these different patterns. So on one side, it's really kind of um, uh, vertical slit, slit lines. And then on the other, it's sort of kind of like molecular, like um, round polka dot circles. So there's these kind of different patterns. And we've tried to install it in the gallery like how it's installed on Blakely Ward. So it's got these kind of little little hints here and then a bigger sort of continuation here. But they're all dotted around and I think Richard um, really likes things to be subtle, not in your face. So you're kind of thinking about them quite closely and you might look up. They're always in difficult places, they're not in obvious places, so you might look up and think, oh, what's that? And um, have things a bit kind of off kilter. Um, and that's the way that Richard works. Um, and if you've met him or you're at his workshop, um, we did a kind of, we explored clay and newspaper, the kind of materiality and the history of those materials. So I think it's, um, this is a really, um, sort of typical piece of Richard's practice. And to accompany that, he also wrote a letter um, to people at Northside um, about, his, um, about his trip to the Mount. So it's called Almost Midsummer 2021. Um, and he talks about how being invited is an odd experience, but um, coming to Northside, he was sort of welcomed by everyone and had these kind of amazing conversations um, with service users and staff when he was at the Mount. So this kind of, this will be also installed in the Mount at some point when the exhibition finishes in January. I also want to show you the book. So some of you will have seen this, but this is a publication that we've made alongside um, the exhibition and it's a really beautifully designed book. It has a lot of the things that you've just seen in the exhibition in it, but it also has really nice texts. So here's um, the artwork um, that someone on Cattenmore did and that was kind of inspired by the project. Um, so we have all the workshop images, um, we have the installation shots, and we have some really beautiful texts by um, different people that kind of came and visited the project. Um, so it's a really lovely sort of keepsake and we will be giving them out to everyone at Northside House. Um, so do get in touch with Sue if you want a copy. Um, 
It's a really, really beautiful book. Oh, yes. The last artwork I'm going to show you is Naomi Harwin. And you might remember we did a kind of paper sculpture workshop. So we um, used different kind of coloured paper and created these little scenes um, on a kind of mount, on a kind of board. And so she's actually recreated some of the um, of the shapes and of the kind of structures that came out of the workshop. So these kind of um, little tunnel-like sculptures and these kind of stepped sculptures. And this is really um, very, um, very much what Naomi does in her work. It's all about creating these kind of other worlds because um, and they're almost kind of like playground type structures. You kind of want to climb into them and um, get inside this little world or playground. Um, and she's also designed this bespoke plinth um, and it has etchings of um, some of the um, paper sculptures that were made in the workshop. So again, another reference to um, some of the things in the workshop too. And these are the same colours that were painted in the TV room on Catamore, where she has her very immersive um, artwork. Um, and a lot of people have kind of said that they feel like it's almost like a bubble in that room because the ceiling's painted, you have um, kind of the, this kind of wooden relief coming out of the ceiling and you have these etchings, so it feels quite like a bubble when, you, when you're inside there. Um, so that's my own work. And that is the last work. We, we have a video, um, you might recognise Jed, <laughs> talking about the project, there's the mount. Um, and this video is really just to bring everything together and explain everything um, about the project, and about what Northside is, and about the process that we've all gone through to create these works um, and the exhibition. Um, so we're really, really happy that we can share this with you. Um, it's been such a brilliant project and it's all been made possible because of you guys um, and the fantastic team and staff at Northside House. So thank you so much um, and I, well, we're doing another project with you. So we're halfway through the workshops now and we're going to be transforming the workshop area into kind of a cultural hub um, with a new set of artists, five different artists. Um, and the workshops have gone really well so far. I think a lot of you um, have come to them. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. And um, I shall see you very soon. Thank you for coming.